Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW. It could be almost any BMW guys. And let's say you're driving down the road, all of a sudden you get a drivetrain malfunction light on the information screen, but you have no engine light on. Stay with us, we'll explain what can easily cause that and how to fix it. And often when you restart your car, that drivetrain malfunction will go away guys. So we're going to explain, okay, what can easily cause that. Now we're demonstrating on a 5 series BMW but you work on multiple models, generations, BMWs. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. If you need to buy any parts, tools for your BMW and you want to save quite a bit of money, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where uh, we share the links and you can save quite a bit of money. That's where we get all our tools and parts from. Another thing, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission as a shop is to save you as much money as we can. I want you guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos for you so let's go ahead and explain what can easily cause okay that drivetrain malfunction light that bmw guys here it's a turbo engine and most bmw newer ones past 2010 practically there will be turbo engines uh four six in there quite often turbo engines guys and you have gasoline or diesel turbo engines as well on the turbo right there you will have guys usually one valve that we removed it's known as a diverter valve that diverter valve when it malfunctions it can actually give you a low boost code okay and often that code will not trigger the engine light but it will trigger okay the drivetrain malfunction light so you may get a message that says drivetrain uh, malfunction limited power output blah 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 but later you turn it off turn it on and it's gone so it's most likely caused by a bad diverter valve okay vacuum leaks for the uh, wastegate actuator guys or, or a wastegate actuator that's not okay adjust it correctly and it's open guys but uh, what do we find out quite often here at the shop it's a bad diverter valve that's the old piston on the inside we rebuild it with the gfb dv plus uh, dv plus go fast beats it's amazing okay it's amazing um, upgrade guys and i'll definitely recommend it i'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from but actually it makes your car uh, really responsive you don't lose boost you don't have turbo lag okay and it's like a whole new car guys because of that little upgrade that you can rebuild your dv uh, uh, your diverter and that way you have the uh, better outcome as well and you will fix your drivetrain malfunction that's one of the most common uh, reasons we see here at the shop uh, of course it could be something else as well hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that thank you for watching and see you next time